Hi, ladies. My name is Kendra, and I'm a corrective exercise specialist in New York, and I'm really intrigued by how interested you guys are in abdominal breathing. Um, and I just wanted to make a really quick video to kind of show you how to do it, um, tell you why it's good and why it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I'm 30 weeks pregnant, and I've been doing it my entire pregnancy as well. Um, it is such a good practice because we're strengthening the transverse abdominals that go all the way around the corset of the core. Um, they're really important muscles for when we start to push during labor because if you think of your core as in a canister, we have to push from the top to the bottom to get the baby to come out. And we need to strengthen those muscles in order to be able to push as much as we do during labor um, to get the baby out. And doing it during pregnancy is not a problem because we're not pushing out. We're not actually pushing anything out. Um, we're just contracting the muscles enough to get them to strengthen um, and then releasing it. The other thing is it will really help your recovery postpartum if you're able to do this um, during pregnancy because it just tightens those muscles a little bit more. It can also keep you from getting too much of diastasis recti, the abdominal separation in the front of your core, if you have it. And if you don't have it, then it can keep you from getting it. Um, so really quick, how you do it. Um, so I'm going to show you what you do is it's coordinated with your breath. Um, so it's important to coordinate it with the breath because then it's practice for labor too, because we exhale when we push out. Now, when you're practicing, practicing it now, I don't want you to push out. Um, I just want you to think about pulling everything in and you can actually do a Kegel at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, you can take your hands on your belly and then we'll inhale. So you can lightly expand your belly when you inhale. And then as you exhale, pull the whole corset like you're trying to put on tight pants, all the way back. And then inhale, tie, uh, release it just a little bit. And then exhale, pull your belly button back towards your spine and compress the whole canister of your abdominals. Now, extra bonus points here. If when you're exhaling, you can lift the pelvic floor at the same time. And when you're inhaling, let the pelvic floor drop a little bit. So take your hands on your core. Inhale, release the pelvic floor. As you inhale, your belly will expand just a little. Pelvic floor drops. And then exhale, pull the pelvic floor in. Pull everything back, right? So from the side, it looks like this. So we're gonna inhale, let it go, and then exhale. And you should be able to feel the muscles on your side waist um, engage as well. And this is not a bad thing for the baby. Um, this can actually be really helpful if um, your baby is already in the right position and you wanna keep them in the right position. You can do this, which will kind of not tighten the space, but just keep everything in alignment. Um, you can still do it if your baby is breached though, in addition to some of the spinning baby um, positions and things like that. You're just working your core muscles so that they're really strong for you when you need them when you're pushing. Um, so I'm totally happy to answer any questions you have if you want to, you know, send me some messages or um, ask me if, you know, form or anything like that. But um, I'm really excited that you guys are so excited about this. So happy births, happy natural births.